Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minutes videos. I am very much excited to show you the very first Hello World application in the Mule 4.0. In this tutorial you will learn about the new Mule 4 Studio installation and learn the basics of the AnyPoint Studio 7. Now open your Mule 4 download location and right click on the file and extract it. Now open AnyPoint Studio folder and run the AnyPointStudio.exe. Select the desired workspace for your Mule 4 applications. Here I am creating a separate folder for the workspace and click on OK button. A new window pops up with a list of improvements and changes in the Studio 7.0 version. Now click on OK button. Now you can see the empty studio. By default it doesn't shows anything. If you create a project then you can able to see all the studio tabs. So go to toolbar and select Mule project. Give a name for the application as Hello World. You can see that the Mule runtime is default is Mule Server 4.0.0 EE. Click on Next. Click on Next. No need to change anything. Click on Finish. Now you can see the Mule palette where all the Mule connectors or modules resides. Properties tab is for the configuring the connectors properties. Global elements is for creating the global properties which you can use throughout your application such as connection properties. Configuration XML file have the complete XML code of your designed project. You can develop or modify the flow and message flow and configuration XML file. By default Mule creates a folder structure for all the storages of your application. Now drag and drop the HTTP listener and go to connector configuration and click on new configuration. In the Mule earlier versions HTTP have a single connector for your requirements based on the position, it acts as the server and client. But in the Mule 4.0 it have a separate connectors for the listener, security filter and a load static resource. Now give a hosted for your HTTP server and a port number, click on the test connection. If the given port number is not reserved then it shows you the connection successful message, click on OK. Now set a path for your very first service in Mule 4. Click on save. Now drag and drop a logger connector into the flow which help you in logging the messages to the console, write an appropriate message for the logger. Click on save. In the new Mule 4 HTTP listener connector have a new option to configure the response in the listener itself. By this you don't need another connector to write the response. By default it is a payload. Now clear the response body and a simple message which gives as response to the client. Click on save. Now right click on the project and select run as Mule application. Mule will download all the artifacts from the Maven repository once download is completed. It shows you the message as build success. You can observe that, our very new Mule 4 Hello World project is successfully deployed. Now open your postman and enter the service URL and click on send. Your first application is working fine you can see the success message as a response. And you can see the logger message in the console. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at meal4beta at eiesb.com.